Hello and welcome to another special video review and tonight we've got the Transform Element MM01 Black Widow. <laughs> so yeah, it comes in a basic brown box, but inside we do have a really nice uh, normal box. So this one, they've put a lot of budget on the, uh, the box. There's lots of uh, holographic tempo on it, so we have the Transformer Lemon. That Black Widow, uh, or the, the figure here. There's a couple of stuff about the figures. I'm gonna come back to it. I just want to show the box on the side. It has Black Widow all in. Uh, again, in the sort of a, a 3D look with broken. I don't know if it's broken glass or I don't know. Just looks really nice, like holographic tempos. It's really cool. Otherwise, on the other side, also Black Widow on top. MM01 Black Widow. I'm not sure for the MM. What's what's the series about this? Because it's Transform Element MM. I don't know. Maybe a new line of uh, minifigures. Because this one is really tiny. So yeah, in the back we also have uh, this. We also have these icon. Not too sure what they are. You have like the camera right here. The I don't know. Maybe. I'll have to translate this uh, later on, but first off, the, the cover right here, she doesn't have the right crotch piece, which bothers me a little bit, but not that much, but in the back, it's just like, what the hell is this? They're, it's badly transformed, like the legs, the, well, we have the, the spider abdomen, we have the torso, we have her normal head and not the spider head, it's just, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, nothing underneath, so let's stop wasting time with the box and open it up. And yeah, so we have the figure here and the accessory. First off, we have the instructions. Now, the instructions are, well, okay at best. They are uh, a little bit hard to understand in my face, but it's the format they used for the sheet is exactly like the black mambas uh, figures so if you bought any figures from black mamba they use the exact same paper or format for the instructions so is transform element a part of black mamba uh, I don't know so yeah instructions like I said they, they are okay uh, didn't have any trouble uh, Transforming the figure. Well, I did have trouble, but not because of uh, poor transformation or instructions I had trouble because the figure is so damn small <laughs> So all right, let's check out the figure itself and all the accessories So we have black widow or black arachnia right here, and we have all the accessories so All right, let's move these on the side So first off we got her pistol so, cool pistol. Uh, it doesn't look much like her cartoon accurate uh, pistol, but yeah, I guess it works. We do have these thing right here, but this is for transformation because the pistol is part of the transformation. Also, uh, so uh, yeah, we can rotate this. Not sure if it's part of the gun. If it's look, if it looks uh, better like this, or I think the gun is meant to be like this. And yeah, so we like that. We have the peg right here that she can hold, obviously. So bring the pistol here, it's really tight. And yeah, she does hold it perfectly. Next up, we have a crotch, crotch piece. So yeah, this is just a blank black crotch piece. Now, I gotta warn you guys, there's parts forming. All these three parts right here are parts forming. So you have to replace, well we, we don't have to, but it will look much better with the replacement crotch plate. So when she's in the spider, uh, this is for the spider mode. Her current crotch plate is more like cartoon accurate with sort of the spider eyes on it. While this one is blank. So this is for spider, uh, spider mode. Also we have these panels right here. And these panels are uh, just blank. Uh, they can fit on the uh, thighs, but uh, yeah, we'll come back to this. They have a nice little spider web inside of them. 
they are identical so both of them like this so yeah again this is for spider uh it's parts forming they don't really store anywhere in robot mode well robot mode we can but yeah i'll come back to this and the figure itself is amazing she's really tiny so first of all yes she is a legend size but she is really nice the paint details on this is amazing everything is so gorgeous about her you have a nice head sculpt really accurate to the TV show we have lots of nice paint details like the green wires on her arms we do have the spider legs on her breasts uh, the metallic uh, golden eyes on her crotch please even the legs it's like a sparkly gold bronze color we have inside of her thighs purple paint just so much love put into this figure um, yeah, we have the green elbows in the back. We also have the uh, uh, Black Widow uh, thing, <laughs> the, 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 the uh, you know the paint on the on the spider. We also have in the back and of the back of the head. We also have the eyes of the spider. It's just really nice. Uh, yeah, really cool figure. The head is on the uh, ball joint. So she can look up, she can rotate her head, she can tilt a little bit side to side. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah. Uh, arms are on ball joints. Uh, like this, you sort of have to move the shoulder pads a little bit. Uh, ball joints at the arms, we do have ball joint at the elbow. Uh, nothing at the uh, wrists. Let's remove the gun. The claws are uh, just one big piece. She doesn't have any waist articulation. The legs does spread out like this at maximum. She does the leg forward like this. In the back she can move the leg all the way back. She does have a knee bend. A double knee bend actually. She even have an articulation at the calf but this is for transformation. And the foot can uh, close and open like this. So yeah, a really cool figure. I really dig this. Uh, she's all in plastic. There's no metal part that I've noticed. And her breast is sort of uh, rubbery. So she does have squishy boobs. <laughs> uh, the legs here doesn't have any articulation. It's sort of like a hard and soft plastic at the same time. So Also, it's super sharp. The claws and the spider legs super sharp be careful with this i hurt myself transforming her earlier so <laughs> yeah uh, no i thought this was uh, metal but no just plastic now like i said we can use these panels and uh, have her like stored in robot mode so we have these lines on the earth eyes and we can plug with this peg right here on the right side on the left side and you can peg it in like this and same thing on the other one oops peg it in so if you look at her from front it's not that bad but when you look at her like this this is where it gets ugly so yeah and in spider mode uh, these looks actually really good and in spider mode without those panels she looks eh, not that good so yeah i'm gonna well i'm gonna leave the these panels on for uh time being i'm just gonna do a quick comparison with some of her buddies so oh, let's let's start oh, i don't even know where to start so we have the generation black arachnia right here and this one was really good like okay she has trouble standing but I really dig that mold uh, previously. So, really cool mold. We have Rat Trap right here. This is from the generation also. Now, Transform Element is also making a Rat Trap. Uh, about the her size also. So, we'll, I'll, we'll keep an eye on this. <laughs> but yeah, Rat Trap is uh, sort of... Should be like, eh, way high from her. But now he's... Yeah, huge. <laughs> we 
we also have like uh, the whew, Beast War, Beast Machine era, Black Arachnia. <laughs> that one is old. And uh, just for the fun of it, I've got my masterpiece, uh, Dinobot, which, uh, yeah, towers. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, they should be pretty much the same size, I think. I'm not sure. It's been a while. I haven't seen the show, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's remove the figures. <clears throat> And let's move on to transformation. So, like I said, transformation is actually quite easy, but uh, the figure is so small that it gets a little bit complicated. So, <laughs> just a heads up. All right, first up, spread her. Whoops, spread her uh, arms like this. If you haven't uh, placed the panels, place them right now if you want to. It will help a lot. Uh, speaking of panels, let's remove our crotch plate. Just have to twist and pull like this. And take the full black one and replace it. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this uh, parts forming thing. So, I'm probably just going to leave her in robot mode and leave this part on. But for transformation sake, I'm just changing it. Close the feet. Completely take your breasts and just pull up like this. Like I said, it's soft rubber, so it can bend. Don't worry about this. Flip the head up, turn the head around, and turn the chest or breasts around like this. Open this up completely, and you can see there's the spider head. So you want to lift spider head up like this, and inside there's teeth. For the spider and it's really really hard to pull so I'm just gonna use a, a knife so I'll just try to pull the teeth out it's I think I got it yes so yeah even my fingernails doesn't fit also you've noticed the head can uh, slide up and down so slide it out at most you can take the head Bring it up like this. Take the legs now. Uh, the legs can bend at the uh, scalp. Bring it down like this and bring it on the knee also. And you can see there's sort of a hook right here, so you need to plug the foot, the the the, the calf in. So you need to bring it all the way in like this and clip it in. Voila. Do the same thing for the other leg. So bend at the calf, bend at the knee, and try to oops, I just unpegged it on the right here. And try to just plug the uh, calf on the uh, plug right here. So and voila. So it looks like this. Now you bring the head go like this and bring the legs down like this so that they cover the head like this and you're pretty much done almost so you want to take the gun now take the gun flip this all the way around and as you flip it it sort of push on this so you can now unpeg this put this aside and take this piece right here with the uh, black uh, widow uh, logo on it and you can see there's two pegs on each side right here and right here these will peg inside of the calf or the thighs there's sort of tiny divot tiny holes and yeah take a look like this the longer part goes on here and you need to squish these in and voila the legs are pegged in and finally you take well not finally but yeah you take the pistol and on uh, using that clip you're gonna clip it on the spider neck so when you pull this out you have the neck uh, opened up so you want to bring it in and just clip it in like this 
And finally, now, you need to bring the arms all the way down on this joint, like the, the screw. So you bring them down like this, and down like this. And voila, you're done. You have the complete spider done. So, yeah, we do have this part left. Like I said, this is the crotch, but yeah. So, yeah, Spider is completely transformed. And she is pretty cool. Uh, really small. But, uh, really nice. So, yeah, we do have the panels right here. Like I said, it's uh, not my cup of tea of uh, having the, uh, the panels and parts forming. But, yeah, the legs are solid so she can stand on her own the head can uh, pivot left and right and I just popped it out it's no big problem so you just slide it back in voila so uh, there's not a lot of articulation beside the teeth in spider mode <laughs> so yeah just this it's pretty cool I really dig it. I really love uh, Black Arachnia. She was my favorite character in the Beast Wars. So, yeah, it's a no-brainer. I also picked the Masterpiece one. It's still in the mail, so I will have a review up uh, next week. Can't wait. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the spider just... Look at this. Really simple. Now, uh, if we remove these panels without... If you don't want to use as parts forming, you can. And the spider will just look like this. Which is not that bad. Sure, the color and the legs bended, but it still looks like a spider. You know? I'm not really mad about this. In fact, I might use it like this because I don't I really don't like the parts forming. So yeah, uh the crotch plate, I'm gonna use the original one, the the uh this one with the, the eyes on it. Right here. But, uh, still a really cool figure. Now she does have her head sticking out like this, but uh, it's not that bad. <laughs> At least we flipped it around. So, yeah, I don't have anything else to say really. It's a really cool figure from Transformer Eleven. Now the parts forming, I'm not not really fond of, but yeah, uh, it's complicated to transform such a small figure anyway. So, yeah, it's really cheap, so I do recommend it. It's a nice, fun figure, and the robot mode looks so gorgeous. She is awesome. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Porch forming really bothers me. And to me, I, I, don't, I still don't have the Masterpiece one. It's still in the mail, but I think the, the Spider mode looks way better than the Masterpiece. Masterpiece sort of have a big big abdomen like it goes like whoa it's really weird maybe it mistransformed i will see it when i have it in hand in the meantime this is black arachnia and she is the best so far out in the market so <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna compare it with the other ones because eh, she's really small and doesn't you know have anything else to compare it to so yeah still a really cool figure i really dig it she is awesome so yeah i don't have anything else to say uh like subscribe leave a comment i always reply and enjoy uh, talking to you guys so yeah thank you for watching and see you next time